This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4, number 144. So here, if n is a positive integer, write the definite integral to represent the limit as, of, as n approaches infinity of 2 over n times this series here. Okay? So what we have to remember is that the integral from a to b of f of x dx. How did we get this interval? Well, remember we took the limit as n goes to infinity of our sigma notation, our Riemann sums, from k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 of delta x times f of a plus delta x times k, right? This is our definition, right? And here we have delta x, remember, is b minus a over n where a and b are the region a less than x less than b, where we're looking at the area for, just like a and b here, all right? So this is just information. So let's go ahead and pull out that information from our expression here. Well, this is just like um, delta x here, right? If delta x is equal to 2 over n, because that's what's being multiplied to every term, right? Then we know that's equal to b minus a over n. So that's telling us the very least b minus a is equal to 2, right? Because they're both over n, right? Also, we're adding here, we're taking our function a, right? a plus delta x times k. Well, we already see delta x in every one of these. If delta x is 2 over n, then we see delta x here, delta x here, delta x here, right? What we don't see is the a. Well, the a is right here, so we're told that a is equal to 1, right? So, so far, this allows me to write the integral. So, this whole thing is equal to the integral from a to b. Well, that's 1, and the difference between b minus a is 2. So, 1 add 2 gives me 3, f of x dx, right? So far I know this, the boundaries are from 1 to 3 because I know the difference between b minus a is 2 and a starts at 1, okay? What is my function, right? Well, every time um, I'm just taking, what is my f of x? Well, I can see here that f of x, right, whatever it is I'm plugging into f of x is just whatever this is squared. So this is just x squared, right? So my function is x squared. I'm going to put add this to my bubble. So this gives me the integral from 1 to 3 of x squared dx. Okay? So this is the definite integral to represent this Riemann sum above. All right. Um, and there will be an infinite number of possible answers because, remember, you could change these um, to be anything, but then you're going to also have to change your function as well. And that's going to end for a CPM chapter 4 from calculus number 144.